Welcome, dear viewers. In today's video, we delve into the life and legacy of the enigmatic Lord Kitchener, a pivotal figure in British military history. From his early days in County Kerry, Ireland, to his untimely demise during World War I, Kitchener's story is a fascinating blend of triumph and controversy. So buckle up as we embark on a captivating journey through time, exploring the man behind the iconic recruitment poster and his indelible impact on the British Empire. A man of enigmatic stature, Horatio Herbert Kitchener, or Lord Kitchener, wove an intricate tapestry in the annals of British military history. Born amidst the rolling green hills of County Kerry, Ireland on June 24, 1850, he excelled in the realms of soldiering, statesmanship, and colonial administration. His presence, unyielding gaze and bushy moustache, came to represent British tenacity during the tumultuous World War I era, with the emblematic recruitment poster proclaiming, your country needs you. It was Kitchener's father, Lieutenant Colonel Henry Horatio Kitchener, who inculcated in him an unwavering sense of military discipline and tradition. His education commenced at the prestigious Royal Military Academy Woolwich and continued at the Military College of Engineering in Chatham. Kitchener's initiation into the British Army's Royal Engineers took place in 1874 when he was deployed to Palestine. The vast expanse of Africa beckoned Kitchener in 1882 when he was stationed in Egypt. A claim for his astute diplomatic and strategic prowess quickly followed, as he played a paramount role in Sudan's British conquest. His military acumen shown in 1898 during the Battle of Omdurman where he led Anglo-Egyptian forces to a resounding victory over the Mahdists. Consequently, he was awarded the rank of Major General and the esteemed title of Lord Kitchener of Tardom. In the waning years of the 19th century, Kitchener was designated Chief of Staff for British forces embroiled in the Second Boer War in South Africa. His controversial strategies, such as the scorched earth policy and establishment of concentration camps to rein in the Boer civilian population, expedited the war's end but marred his reputation. Post-Boer War, Kitchener found himself as Commander-in-Chief of India from 1902 to 1909. During his tenure, he restructured the Indian Army, laying the groundwork for its modern organization. Elevated to Field Marshal in 1910, he was appointed British Agent and Consul General in Egypt, working tirelessly to modernize the nation's infrastructure and military. As the dark cloud of World War, I loomed in 1914. Kitchener took on the mantle of Secretary of State for War. As the sole soldier in the cabinet, he orchestrated the formation of Kitchener's Army, the most extensive volunteer force in British history. His prescient understanding of the war's longevity and expense led to the implementation of conscription in 1916. Tragically, on June 5, 1916, Kitchener met an untimely end. The HNS Hampshire carrying him struck a German mine off the Scottish coast, and he drowned. The fact that his body was never recovered fueled an air of mystery and conspiracy theories surrounding his demise. Thank you so much for joining us on this enthralling journey through Lord Kitchener's life and legacy. As we've seen, his contributions to British military history are both commendable and contentious. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the enigmatic figure that is Lord Kitchener. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating content. Feel free to share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. Until next time, take care and stay curious.